Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Handy Monk, and today we're going to be back doing some more lawnmower maintenance. I've got my uh, Troy Built TV 230 right here, and today I want to change out the spark plug. Um, you know, the spark plug is something you really want to do, I don't know, every season or so, every year. It's actually probably been about maybe two or three years since I've done this spark plug. Actually, I think it's the one that came with the mower. So it's probably about time to check it and change it out. I've got a couple new ones here that I bought uh, just off Amazon, a couple bucks. So we'll go ahead and start with my spark plug here, which is right at the front of the engine here. Uh, we have the spark plug boot, and then behind that is the spark plug. So I just want to go ahead and pull that off. Normally, you can pull these straight off by hand. If it's too hard, they actually do make this nice spark plug um, pliers. It has uh, nice soft boot ends, soft boot ends here that are designed to go around the spark plug uh, boot. And you just kind of give it a pull, pops right off. There's the tip of the spark plug. They do make, and I happen to have, a special spark plug socket. And so this is a uh, 5 8 let's see if I get this to focus. This is a 5 8 socket. And inside of the socket, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little rubber boot deep in there that you slide over the spark plug and then holds the spark plug while you turn it out. Uh, if, if you don't have this, you can of course use just a standard 5.8 socket, just be careful not to drop the spark plug. I'm going to slide this right onto my plug here, grab my ratchet, and just break it loose, not too hard, and then I can just thread it out by hand. And there we go, out comes the plug. So here's the plug, it doesn't actually look too bad. You can see it's a little bit carbonized around the tip, but actually for a lawnmower, this looks pretty good. Normally I'd expect this to be really kind of gunked up here, but it's pretty clean. Um, but we'll go ahead and get the new one changed out and put in there. One other thing worth mentioning actually before I put this new plug in is what's called a gap tool. This isn't super important on a lawnmower, but the gap between these two electrodes on the spark plug, let's see if I can get this to focus nicely. So the gap between this outer electrode, ah, between this upper electrode and this lower electrode uh, is where actually your spark goes between. And so you wanna make sure that that gap is reasonably, um, you know, accurate, reasonably gapped. Uh, for the most part, what the factory part puts in is sufficient enough but you can actually check what the old plug is and what the new plug is and see if they're close. Uh, of course, remember that the old spark plug wears a little bit. And so the gap should be a little bit tighter on the new one. But we can check that here with our gap tool. It basically has just a thin band around the edge that changes in thickness as you go around. And then it's labeled here on this surface in thousands of an inch. And so I just take my gap tool here, start at the thin side and just kind of rotate it. Whoops. I start at the very beginning and rotate it until it kind of gets stuck. Then I can read off the gap, which is right about there. It's just below 30 thousandths of an inch, maybe 28 thousandths on the old one. And stick this in here. The new one is, of course, a little bit tighter, somewhere around 25 thousandths. So that's probably reasonable for this lawnmower. If I needed to adjust it, you can stick the plug into this uh, little adjuster right here and just kind of bend the electrode up or down a little bit depending on what you need. So I'm gonna take my new spark plug and just go ahead and screw it right back into the engine. It's kind of hard to see where it's going to back there, but there's a hole right at the top of the combustion chamber that this goes into. Sometimes it's a good idea to put some anti-seize lubricant on these threads. I unfortunately don't have any right now. And so I'm just gonna carefully thread this back in making sure not to cross thread anything. Once you get the plug seated in there nicely, you just want to tighten it a little bit with a wrench or a ratchet. Give it a small little snug, nothing too crazy. And then make sure you put the boot back on.
So there we have it. That's all there is to it. That's some really simple, good, easy, preventative maintenance. It's really good to do, keep your mower running top notch. The other thing you also might wanna do is change the oil. So I did that previously, and actually I have a different video on that, which I can link in the description below if you need to see how to change the oil on this particular mower or anything similar to it. But that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to go out and kindle and enlighten.